I'm, all I'm going to say is social media, them folks on his social media, on his live, them wasn't real folks. Because if you go look at the video, you will see as the shit was going up, go hold that, show that nigga how gangster you is, fool. Go do, uh, uh, ha, 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 the laughing faces. Go show that nigga, fool. Uh, go, uh, throw that nigga out, fool. Uh, 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 like, niggas, you want to see me do it? That shit right there was so scary to me. When that nigga said, y'all want to see me do it? I told y'all, this is a blood sport. These folks online, these... Dog, do you know that if the niggas who killed X would have did the same thing, do you know them folk would have told them, yeah? Olive leaf extract is good for naturally lowering your blood pressure, regulating your diabetic blood sugar, lupus, fibroid, STDs, and a whole bunch of other shit that you're going to need in the bedroom, big home. Now, to get your bottle, you go to myoliveleaf.biz or call 612-567-3263. Get your shit together, big home. <sighs> Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation. And this is, are you fucking serious? As in, I cannot get my hater-proof vest looking like it's supposed to be looking, dawg. I don't want to be looking like no goddamn. All right, I'm strapped in. I'm strapped in on that New New Jersey twerk shit. All right, uh, welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. Y'all know what it is, dawg. Uh, let's go on get into it, dawg. Um... What, 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 where I'm coming from with this shit? Um, what, what I want to talk about? Do I want to say, uh, your homeboy from Atlanta? Okay, yes, your homeboy from Atlanta was wrong, definitely wrong, all the way clout chasing. He had no reason to run down on uh Rico, or whatever. Um, we saw the whole thing transpire, so you can't say that. Um, the reason why you went at him was because. He dropped the rakes on that game shit. You can't say that's the reason you started tripping because you were like we saw the whole thing happen. Like you was you was fucking around. You was playing. Like you was asking folks online, like what's up? What, what, what you want me to do? Whatever, like that. You were doing exactly what they told you to do. Hey, y'all. Let. Hey, you know how um, they got some shit online right now that says uh, fake accounts aren't your friends. And the the reason why y'all need to share these fucking video, dog. Real talk. I just thought about this shit as, as I'm talking. The reason why this nigga right here started tripping on Rico or whatever like that is because they told him to. They were amping him up. They were they put up they what y'all need to call put a battery in his back. But they were gassing him up to go over there and fuck with Rico. There was no reason for him to, we saw the whole thing. We saw he was taking a picture up with him it's all good, whatever like that. And I've seen nigga like 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 these type of niggas, you have to I told y'all, every nigga in the street is a fucking rat. He's an enemy of yours. He's not your friend. Look, I know you're enjoying your video, but give me one second. When you go to the PayPal to donate, all my AO Nation members, do not go to paying for item and services. It holds the money and it's charging you. If you have done that, if you've donated and you've hit paying for item and services, you need to go back and release those funds. I have not gotten them. Uh, even if you're buying a shirt, do not hit paying for an item of service. It's charging you. Go to send money to a friend. It's two options. And hit the send money to a friend so that it comes straight to me and we don't have to release them because they're asking for a tracking number, which obviously I don't have if you're giving a donation. Even with the shirts, I'm not going to have that tracking number. If you want the shirts, just put $25 in the PayPal and then go to the messenger and give me your address. And in three or five business days, you will have the RUC shirt. Uh, all my local artists and advertisers, you need to have a $100 budget if you want to do business. Also, you need to be ready to promote. Do not hit me until you're ready to promote. 
Period, point blank. I don't want to talk about your idea, about your company, and no shit like that. I have too much going on. If you're an artist and you want feedback and advice on your song, you need to send a $35 deposit so I can listen to it and give you the feedback. I don't have time to do this shit for free. Okay? Um, what else? Uh, T-shirts, PayPal, advertising. That's it. Uh, this is Saki, and this is Aki. So if you hear me fussing them in the background, now you know what they look like. I'll see y'all in a minute. Enjoy the video. And you see this now. You see how you were just taking a picture with them. Now it's goddamn, it's wartime. It went from anybody fuck with him, uh, it's old with, he good worldwide, to Rico a bitch. Listen to me. Y'all remember when I said on my last video about your phone being a hypnotized device like on get out doesn't this you see how quick he went from showing that nigga love to now he beefing with the nigga Rico Reckless watch this video bit home listen to me you saw how much love that nigga was showing you and then all of a sudden by the time he got to his car and got back to you whatever like that was hate Be be honest. Tell the people what you think happened. Did you know it's no way that you know what I'm saying he didn't find out no new information about you? If he knew about you, he knew everything that you did. He knew like he knew that you was in beef. He knew every fucking thing when he took a picture with you. When he was in that fucking live with you, he knew everything about you. There was no and well, there was no fresh delivery coming on the phone. Hey, you know he be tripping on goddamn GDs and shit like that. Fuck no. And the thing is, if he didn't already, if he wasn't already on go for any nigga, if he wasn't already on go for any nigga, make sure you understand that. He was on go for any nigga. If I find something out about a nigga, or if I feel like I, a nigga's a victim, you know what made him do that to you? I, I know I'm jumping around, but listen. The reason why he did that to you, Rico, is because you showed him love. Here's the fucked up part. If you would not have shown no love to him, he would have did the same thing. What does that tell you, niggas? One, I'm going to get back to the, 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 the mind control. We're going to get to that. But you can't take a picture with a fan because you may end up like designer and chin with a transsexual. It might not be a girl for real. You can't show love to a fucking fan because... They might do you like the nigga did King and run you around the mall parking lot. Now, as you're doing the, the picture trying to show fan, fans love, they up the fire. And I can tell you it was uncomfortable and shit like that. You was uncomfortable in the video. When he up the fire, you did a real, <laughs> a real, <laughs> oh, that's funny, bro. <laughs> and we gonna get the fuck about this stove. So, let's make this make sense. X just died. Jimmy Wapo just died. How can a nigga be real? Do you niggas understand now why opportunities are so scarce? Do you niggas, for all you upcoming niggas, do you understand now why opportunities are so scarce? Why you can't just, Atlanta niggas, let me talk to you Atlanta niggas. Let me talk to Atlanta niggas right fast. Is there a lot of love in Atlanta? Because they say that y'all the most close-knit city in this music shit. Is it close-knit? For my Atlanta rappers, um, my Atlanta business people, is Atlanta a city of brotherly love when it comes down to a black man helping a black man, a black woman helping a black woman? Y'all swapping out information. Y'all swapping out plugs. If you want to get some flyers, um, I tell you the best price on the flyers. And I, I put you on my plug. If you're trying to get some poster did, some t-shirts, I put you on here. I put you on there. If you got a goddamn, if you got a nigga who needs some beats, whatever like that, you put me on to the nigga that, you know what I'm saying? Because I make beats. Is that how close-knit y'all are? Is it, is it no jealousy? Is it no hatred? Do niggas not backbite there? 
is Atlanta really close knit to where you can really walk outside and get a deal like it's nothing as long as you have talent? For all my talented and and, and um all my hard working uh business owners trying to come up and shit like that, and you got a brand that you're trying to push, whatever. Is it close knit to where opportunities come through every day? Yeah. For my Atlanta folks only. Is it made up to where like you can really <clears throat> bump into anybody and they'll show you love any day of the week? Or is it like any other fucking city that's majority black? A whole bunch of crabs in the fucking bucket. See, niggas have a, a, a picture of Atlanta. <laughs> Everybody has a picture of Atlanta. I got my fucking CDs and shit like that. I'm going to go to Atlanta. I'm going to go to Atlanta for my music guy. You know what I'm saying? But you'll be surprised as I'm watching my nigga Famous Animal. Salute to you, Famous Animal. I'm watching him, and he was doing, he was interviewing, I think, uh, Ricky Owens or some shit like that. Uh, uh, Owens, he, he does the, the music shit uh, 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 awards. Um... I apologize for not knowing your name either. Uh, but he was talking about how the Atlanta rappers are trying to get to Memphis. The way that you niggas perceive Atlanta, I'm gonna go down there and pay my CD out. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm going I'm recording Atlanta. I, I do this in Atlanta. Don't nobody give a fuck where you record at, nigga. Got a lot of niggas in Baldwin County that do that shit too. A lot of niggas in Baldwin County believe that the fuck they own. A lot of niggas, they'll tell you goddamn they going to Atlanta and they got something going on in Atlanta. Like the fuck you go take your CDs or your flyers to Atlanta, motherfucker gonna listen to it. If anything, being that Atlanta is so saturated with rappers, people will be more apt to not listening to your shit because they get niggas trying to give them CDs every fucking day. Who in the fuck is going to listen to your CD or, or, or take your fucking music serious when there's a million other niggas doing the same thing? Except they doing it bigger and better. These niggas are getting billboards. So that breaks all the way down to what the, the point of it is. With opportunities being so scarce in Atlanta... When you get a nigga that comes from another city, instead of you trying to maybe network with him after you seen that he was showing love, if you got that nigga scared, you got him on the ropes, then use that intimidation to get get some information out of him. Hey man, in, in uh, Chicago, when y'all um after y'all um when y'all where do y'all get y'all songs uh, mastered at? What kind of what program are y'all engineers using? How much they charge an hour? How much um is it gonna cost for a thousand flyers? I got this project right now. That's about being about your business to where you always have something to where it needs to go somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Got this new song right here. I'm trying to get a feature on it. Why not use that intimidation? Like, if you see that Rico a hoe for real in real life, if you really felt like he was a hoe, you know what I'm saying? If that's the vibe you got from him, y'all listen to me. If that's the vibe you get from a nigga, <clears throat> one of these rap niggas, instead of immediately beefing and getting this five, believe me, dog, you got five seconds of fame right here. That's all you're going to have. Five seconds. That's it. Instead of getting that five seconds of fame and then being blackballed because he has more connection than you do, use that shit to actually get in somewhere. When you see these rap niggas as hoes, you do not have to hold them out on camera thinking that that's like a lot of niggas have did that shit, took niggas chains and shit like that, and the chain snatchers are all but forgotten. You punk out a rapper. What the fuck? All you did was destroy his career, but your career ain't going nowhere. So all the fuck you did to another nigga is pull him down to where you at. When you could have really asked this nigga to open the door up there. And he could have let you up there. Now both of y'all up there, but now both of y'all down here. Which furthermore uh, confirms the stereotype of niggas not wanting to see niggas shine. Let's get, let, let me get back because that, cause I, I, I'm I about to go on to the social media shit, whatever like that, but I'm telling you that what we have to do with us, because at the end of the day, your emotions are your emotions. Even though this, this social media is hypnotizing niggas and, it's, and, and you've been indoctrinated with this hypnotization, you've been indoctrinated with this, this, this computer. Y'all went to school and y'all used these as books. And I think y'all have been hypnotized from the jump. Even though you've been hypnotized, it's going to take work to break that curse. It's going to take work to break that curse, but it can be broken. There's no reason for it. 
Now what happens? Anybody, any rapper that wants to fuck with you simply because of this act that you did, and it was a lot of fucking, it was a lot of, it was real choppy what you did, dog. It was real choppy. All that smiling shit, all that, yeah, 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 you got some stupid bitch in the background talking that, and it's always gonna be a bitch up in that shit. For a nigga to do something to a nigga, it's always gonna be a bitch. Don't get me started on that shit. But as you asking niggas to come over here with you playing them fucking kid games. That's what it sounded like to me. It sounded like kid games. Let's go over here, bro. Come on, bro. Let's go over here, bro. Man, come on, bro. Stop tripping, but you finna leave, bro. Come on. Let's do what we finna do. Never dropping the camera. That's why I tell y'all. Anything that's done on camera, if a nigga's in the act of it, If a nigga's in the act of a bitch is recording herself crying, it's not real. You want everything to be recorded so you get credit for it. The same shit with this fuck nigga that's talking about he killed X. Strictly for attention. Which That's what I'm telling y'all that, that this social media shit is driving niggas to do shit. But as I'm telling you that, out the same mouth, I'm going to tell you that you still have a goddamn choice. What you should want to be recognized for is your talent, what you're skilled in. If your only skill, as I told my brother, if your only skill is to sell dope, if your only skill is to fucking hurt people, rob people, kill people, if that's your motherfucking skill, you in bad shape if you're not in the military or you're not a fucking assassin. If you doing that shit strictly for motherfucking credit from imaginary people that do not exist. As I told y'all, I'm going to get deep on that in just a second. But this shit ain't going to last. You're going to get five, not 15 minutes. You're going to get five seconds of fame. Five seconds. They want to know who you is. They want to know some backstory. Now they want to hear the music. All right, we done with your shit. You get treated like any other fucking artist, any other personality. And because you came in so violently, you cannot transcend to the next level. You can't go to Wild and Out with Nick Cannon. You can't go to these uh, actual, you know, Viacom channels where, you know what I'm saying, you can actually get money and pay because you have a, you, you so violent. You know what I'm saying? You, my nigga, you better hope and pray to God that that nigga Rico ain't whole as you thought he was to where he gonna make some type of fucking police report. Or you bam. Or better yet, I've been hearing these goddamn... I've been hearing you motherfucking bloggers giving niggas, giving the police suggestions as if they should pick this shit up. My nigga, if they do do that, these faggot ass, the same folks you were trying to impress online, if they goddamn go and do that, because the same folks you were trying to impress on your goddamn uh, bullshit ass live, them the same folks right now saying that it's a bullshit you did. That's who you just impressed. But also, them same folks that told you to go do that shit would have been the same folks hollering, oh, this fuck nigga kill Rico and all that good shit like that because you the type of nigga, but let me get back to it. Them same folks are the same folks that are now online saying that you can be arrested and, and, and fucking fucked up for terroristic threats. I don't know what the fuck this blogger name was. That's why I'm telling you that these goddamn white boys ain't got no motherfucking business doing no goddamn stories on no hip hop. Niggas can do it. Even if niggas is lame, they can do it. But you goddamn white boys coming in this motherfucker talking about the monkeys in the cage and reciting... Uh, 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 street law? Getting paid? More than niggas getting paid? And I'm going to talk about that in just a second. Because I believe y'all white supremacists. Because we got some shit. We fucked up right now. When a family fucked up, we don't want nobody on the street looking like God damn. Ooh, shit. Ooh, she threw his shit out. Damn. Damn, I ain't know he had them shoes. Man, she fucked them shoes all the way up. Damn. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, you see, yeah that's what I said, yeah. Couldn't be me, boy. Shit, yeah. Oh, make sure you get it. Ooh, ooh. Damn. World star. Eee. 
until we get our shit together, we don't need nobody from no other culture, no other race, uh, uh, comment on our shit. And that's how that's going. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna talk about that more in just a second. Let me get to the main goddamn point. But I, I, I really can't get to the point because I'm, all I'm gonna say is social media. Them folks on his social media on his live, them weren't real folks. Because if you go look at the video, you will see as the shit was going up, go hold that, show that nigga how gangsta you is, fool. Go do, uh, uh, ha, 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 the laughing faces. Go show that nigga, fool. Uh, go, uh, throw that nigga out, fool. Uh, 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 like, niggas, you want to see me do it? That shit right there was so scary to me. When that nigga said, y'all want to see me do it? I told y'all, this is a blood sport. These folks online, these... Dog, do you know that if the niggas who killed X would have did the same thing, do you know them folk would have told them, yeah? This is who you're impressing online. My nigga, the same niggas that's going to rob and probably murder you, do you know that they got alive and they're going to do the same shit to you? They did the same thing to Waka. But Rico, understand, this is the energy you came in with. You're not innocent, big dog. This is what you came in with. This is what you do to people. How? See, us, us, I've told y'all before, us as black people, we are the best at uh, waiting, waiting, anticipating a pear from an orange tree. We will give you evil, 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 dirt, dirt, negative, 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 and go to church and expect the blessing. We will come in, this, 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 we this and we this and we this and. Fuck that nigga, fuck that nigga, I kill a bitch, I, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas did to you what you rapped about. From this point on, we're holding rappers accountable for what the fuck they say and how they say they living. If you not living like that, or you do not want people to live like that, don't speak on it. If you are not for that, don't listen to it. If you for that death shit, if you for a nigga dying and shit like that, because I'm living in real life. I'm living in real life, and I, I'm aware that the niggas that may try to come and do something to one of my loved ones, or, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't even like to speak that shit in existence. But I, I, I'm aware that the next person that gets home, the next person that gets nigga, not white person, nobody white gonna get home. The next nigga that gets killed, Rob, the ne- the people that do that to him will be listening to you nigga. Like, it ain't like the old days when niggas, that niggas did drive-bys listen to, listening to, like, the old J's and old... Reunited and it feels so good. Re- they, they were listening to that type of shit doing drive-bys. Now, you you know, uh, the nigga, what the nigga, MC8 made uh, uh album or something like that called Drive-By Music or Music to Do Drive-Bys to or some shit like that. Niggas say that they're feeding the street with this shit. Like, you're telling niggas how to trap, how to rob, and how to kill. Because you're saying that this is what you do. You're indoctrinating and baptizing niggas in this type of shit. You're baptizing niggas in the blood of Satan. You think that it's live because you on them drugs and you can say all this good shit. But when it comes back and you in a fucking well lit gas station. You feel safe for some fucking reason. But that energy. The people that you attract are niggas who... Not only keep guns in the top part of their jacket. These are the type of niggas who mind goes from I'm showing love this second to now you a bitch because you ran when I put a fucking gun in your face. Them is your niggas. Those are the people. Now, those, that's that's a real thug nigga. You say you like street niggas and, and, and that's what you fuck. That's the niggas you hang with. That's what you bout. You should feel comfortable then. There was no reason to drive off. You should have hopped out that bitch. You should have hopped out that bitch. Because this is what you bring forth. This is what you bring forth. What you bring forth. It, 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 I'm, not, I'm not going in no Bible. But this is common sense. If And my dog, I'm telling you. Homeboy who did that. That's the seeds you planted. And you're going to get online. Whooping for niggas. And that shit going to come right back around to you. And niggas going to give you the same excuse. That, that the niggas gave. when they, The nigga who said he murdered ex. They gonna get that same excuse. That nigga know what he did. That nigga know what he shouldn't did that shit to my boy. Everybody gonna be sad and we go through the same fucking cycle. 
The same fucking cycle. This whole thing, I just told, uh, who was that? I think that was Esco. I just told Zay, if, social, if there was no social media, that would not have happened. Rico damn sure when it came back to the gas station. But that nigga in the first place would not have went over there and fucked. He would have went out his fucking way. But because we have niggas that are seeing that this is how you come up. Rico, because this is how you came up, dog. You running down on niggas. You call niggas hoes and bitches. And this is what you doing. You advocating the violence. You're not advocating nothing else but the fucking violence. I don't give a fuck what you do behind the scenes. You niggas keep talking. Well, right, he did this behind the scene. He did that behind the scene. Dog, what do motherfuckers know you for? What do they know you for? And your music, what are you talking about? When you get on live, what you talking about? You talking about doing drugs, robbing niggas, talking about how fuck niggas get violated, whole niggas get violated. You will take some from a whole ass nigga. And you will murder some at any point in time for any fucking disrespect. A nigga say, uh, once you, once you start bumping and once you start shooting niggas, you'll never stop. God said that. Ain't no turning around once you... Come on, my nigga. This is what you bring. So if you're going to bring it like that, you got to move like Takashi 12. He moved with the police. He moved with, you know what I'm saying, the death row affiliate type niggas who, you know what I'm saying, who will kill you legally. And I got to tell y'all more about that nigga case too. But this is what you got with this. What you gonna do now? We, you, you, so, you know, this shit plays out and what happens is Rico go back to the gas station and now he murders somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because he came back to the gas station with five. Now you murder somebody. Now it's a shootout. Now you going to court the same way Troy Alve is. And Troy Alve up there whole time. But the only gang, the gangster thing to do is to testify. Because y'all niggas, these fucking phones will push you niggas off a fucking cliff. Dog. Rico, when I seen you goddamn talking to this camera, so yeah, we back at the gas station. Yeah, we back at the gas station. I'm trying to see what's going on. I wasn't even driving the car. Checking the phone and trying to see if you didn't did enough for them to where they will stop calling you a bitch ass nigga. That was so fucking sad to me. Every time you said something, you looked down at the phone, and I don't want to, dog. You looked down at the phone to make to see if you had did enough to where you can go ahead and leave to where they stop calling you a bitch. That this fucking phone made you drive the fuck back up to that goddamn gas station. If your phone would have died, you wouldn't went back up there. If your phone would have died in the car ride back home, you wouldn't went back up there. Because you wouldn't have saw that. So what does that mean? The phone comes on, now you go up there. So what, what's the issue here? What's the true problem? Obviously, this is the true problem. The people on here aren't real. We go back to my first point, the fake accounts. Those fake accounts, Trio Nigga 07, Real Street Nigga 5, all these fucking accounts, like... The people that want us dead are far more sophisticated than that bitch, your 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 your, uh, your baby mama or your, your ex little stalking bitch who lurk and they make a little fake ass page and got one pitch on that bitch or all these other fucking companies that want you to goddamn look at their sex videos so they see your friend request from a, a fine ass bitch they got twenty five fucking friends and shit like that them pages and they say for more fuck videos look here. The folks who want us dead, they're way more sophisticated. So they'll make a fake page from Ohio of a real fucking person. You won't even be able to tell the fucking difference. You will really think it's a real person. Motherfucker might even talk to you a little bit. You've never met the motherfucker though. But as soon as you goddamn go to do something, <coughs> that fucking fake account that's ran by a fucking white supremacist. It's a white supremacist doing these fucking pages. Listen to me what I'm saying. <coughs> they taught these fake pages are not your friend. Understand, the people that want us dead are not your fucking baby mama, nor that them, these fucking other websites that want you to goddamn buy um the uh, fucking uh, uh plenty of fucking fish and all that other bullshit. These folks are sophisticated as fuck. They want us dead. They making fake accounts from niggas from Canada, 
Michigan, Delaware, Maine, New Jersey, Alabama, all kind of different fucking places. These are faker fucking counts. And then when you get in situations like this, you so fucking happy because now you got a hundred fucking followers. You hundred thousand followers. You so fucking happy because now your uh your, your, your shit lit because you got this many fucking likes on this picture and shit like that. Not fucking understanding that you won't be able to tell if this a real fucking person or not because now that you on this big fucking scale, you don't expect to, to know all your fucking fans. Yeah, they fans because they blowing that goddamn fire to make it bigger. They blowing that fire to make it bigger. They're not real people. The same folks that told you to thug up on them. Go look at that goddamn video and look at how the fuck they told him what the fuck to do and how he did it. How the fuck did his mood change that fast from being happy with the nigga to now, I want to go fuck this nigga up. My nigga, listen to me. How did your fucking mood change that dog? Listen. Listen to me. How did your mood change that fast? Do you think that was your decision? Do you think that you really made that fucking decision? Or do you think that fucking thing that you keep walking around and looking at, trying to see how cool you is, this is your cool meter. This is how you know how cool you is right here. All right, I, I got 87% cool. All right, I got to do something. Now I got to get the rest of this goddamn 13%. All right, 13%, what can I do? Let's go over here, y'all. Let's go over here. You don't know how amp, how you so amp? How you so amp, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, you, like what, what's going on? Think about it, dog. Why in the fuck did your mood change that fast? It was not you thinking that, dog. You've been indoctrinated from the time that you was born to be able to read this goddamn code through this phone. They've been training you on this goddamn tablet that you took to school with you. I guarantee that you're younger than goddamn 22 years old. They've indoctrinated you with the goddamn, um, uh, with the code to where now you a sleeper cell and don't even fucking know it. They can send a goddamn signal right here through this goddamn phone and you on go mode. Now that they hit the fucking button to put you in go mode, now they're going to tell you exactly where to go in the goddamn comments. Y'all need to look at these goddamn videos and listen to me as I'm talking to y'all. Some of this shit, I don't know. I'm going to say it till I goddamn get on this goddamn video. Y'all need to goddamn listen. I'm, I, I can't get on here and down you niggas. I cannot get on here and down you niggas, whatever. Like, I'm going to tell you where to go, whatever. But please, just think with me one time. No conspiracy theories. Because you just seen this shit happen just like I did. Niggas is retarded. We know that. We retarded. We, we, you know what I'm saying? We get in a situation, we do some retarded shit. But let's think about why the fuck we do it for one second. Rico, for some reason, when you came in, you thought doing this goddamn, yeah, 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 I'm going to be this nigga right here. You thought that was a good fucking idea. Why? Why didn't, why didn't you think to come in with lyricism? Why do you think to come in making good music? Was it because when you try to do good music, folks didn't show you no attention? You know how many fucking good rappers it is that's on the goddamn shelf? Nobody want to fucking hear? But this nigga Skinny Me, whatever the fuck, not Skinny Me, because that's a rapper from fucking uh, Philadelphia. Skinny Q, the nigga with the pink hair. And the nigga uh, 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 fucking Squid Nice. These motherfuckers have no issue getting in the game. They never fucking worry about how to fucking rap. Because they know... That it's a lot of shit. It's a lot of different. It's a lot of different steps that a motherfucker has to get through before they even give a fuck about your music. Rico, listen to me. Your death is not going like you have no control over when you die because you're being forced to do shit. In hindsight, was it the best idea to go back to that gas station? Just answer the question. Was that a good decision? No, right? Okay. It wasn't a good decision, but you made it. From this point on, when you get in these fucking, when you got your fucking phone on, you going live, just, just pay attention to shit. Just pay attention. Just try to see who's saying what, whatever like that. Go research these fucking pages. All of y'all, all of y'all. If you in the music industry where you are actually in the news, they're going to tell you that all publicity is good publicity because your name's being said. That's a fucking lie. Big Face Podcast. Y'all make sure y'all fold the PayPal. I'm going to see y'all in a minute. Where in the fuck is my pen?